Hi guys, uh, my name is Olaf Rolfson. I'm a uh, blacksmith here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, a couple of days ago I was making some rose head nails. Uh, I tend to make uh, make these rose head nails and sell them, uh, sell them on Etsy and sell them locally. And uh, uh, I had the idea of putting together a blacksmith challenge. Uh, uh, hopefully we can uh, raise some money for nonprofits and uh, also see what we're capable of as uh, as blacksmiths. I always heard that nail making was the you know the first thing that a uh, smith would learn, and uh, you know nails were always so highly prized, and that's what a lot of smiths would spend a lot of their days doing. Uh, and I've always heard numbers that you know they'd be able to make so many per hour. Uh, I've never sat down and continuously made nails and see how many I can actually produce. I normally make as many as I need for uh, orders that I'm filling at that time. Uh, so to, today what I'm going to do is sit down and for one continuous hour see how many nails I can make. Uh, the uh, idea of this Blacksmith Challenge is that for every nail that I make I'm going to donate a dollar to a local nonprofit. Uh, the nonprofit that I chose is the Southern Animal Foundation. Uh, it's, a, it's a local animal hospital up here on Magazine Street in the Irish Channel. And um, for every good nail that I'm able to produce in one hour I will uh, uh, donate one dollar to that cause. So if you want to participate in this nail making challenge, uh, I think it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, get the forge hot, make nails for an hour and document it somehow. Uh, you can do that through video like I'm doing or just some photographs with a, with a time stamp I think would be fine. Um, uh, choose your nonprofit and donate to it. Someone suggested that you could do it as a walkathon where you get sponsored for, uh, for nail. And uh, so people can contribute 10 cents or 50 cents or a dollar, uh, depending on depending on what they think you're uh, be able to produce in an hour. Uh, we have a hashtag going. It's uh, Blacksmith Nail Challenge. So tag your work with that, and so we can see what you're up to and see how many nails you're making. And uh, once you've done all these things and, and you've made your nails, be sure to send it along and uh, tag another smith that you know, so they can participate as well. Uh, the other thing that I said I would do uh, in an Instagram post a while ago is uh, compile all the all the final results and tally them, uh, so we can have a uh, kind of a world lot worldwide uh, uh, high record or uh, leaderboard list of uh, how quick we are at making nails, and maybe get some bragging rights out of that. Uh, so as far as rules uh, for this, I don't think there's going to be many. Um, this has to be all done with hand power, so um, uh, you know, use a hand hammer and anvil. Um, of course, you'll need a hot cut, a uh, hardy cut, a uh, pair of tongs, and a nail header. And I don't think there should be anything else uh, involved. Um, as far as the nails themselves, what, uh, what I think what I'm going to stipulate is they need to be at least two inches. Uh, so this one here. This one here is about uh, just over two inches. So that gives you an idea of the size. Anything smaller, they tend to be they tend to go pretty quickly, and I don't think I can afford I don't think I can afford to donate that much. Uh, anything longer, and uh, I tend to tend to lose focus when I'm making them. So I think two inches will be a uh, will good, be a good a good starting point for us. And uh, we're going to do a square shank. Uh, the size doesn't matter. The starting size doesn't matter. And then I tend to make mine rose head. So, you know, the last four strikes will come in and, uh, you know, create those different planes. Uh, it should be something that you'd be willing to sell, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you were making these. So they do have to meet your own personal standard of, uh, of quality. Uh, and then finally, the last three things are, are more for, uh, for our benefit. And that's if you're using a London pattern uh, anvil uh, with your hardy, hardy hole on the right side and you're a right-handed smith, be sure that you take out your, your hot cut as you're forging. Otherwise, you, know, you can bring your knuckles right down on that hot cut and do a lot of damage to yourself. I have a double horn uh, uh, rat hole, so the hardy's on the other side of me. It's on my left hand side, so I won't need to do that when, when you see my, uh, my forging here in a second. And uh, be sure you stretch. I always stretch when I forge. I hope that's standard for all smiths. And uh, it's already pretty hot this morning down in Louisiana, so uh, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water as I do this too. So I'm going to start out just by forging a quick warm-up nail. I'm going to get the forge hot here, and uh, after that, I'm going to set up a clock and see how many nails I can make in an hour. And then uh, I'll sit back down like this at the end of it, and uh, and we'll go through the nails. And uh, I'll write a check. Or I'll write a big check, hopefully. We'll see. So I think we're ready to start. I have everything I need. I have a uh, nail header, which is just under a quarter-inch square. Uh, these are pretty easy to make. You can also buy them online from a couple of different suppliers. Uh, I have my usual forging hammer, just a three and a quarter pound rounder, and uh, my hot cut, and I have a clock to keep track of the time. Uh, besides that, I'm going to be using a quarter inch round hot roll as my stock, and I've cut this down to three foot sections that I can hold on to, and then use uh, 
protection and hearing protection. So I have some uh, steel in the fire now. I'm going to do a quick warm up and show you how I make them and then we'll start the clock and see how many we can do in an hour. So I'm just going to draw down the round into a square shape. Uh, so we're about five minutes in, and I realized that my uh, camera apparently only records for you know, increments. So this might get a little choppy uh, when I edit it, but uh, I was hoping it'd be one continuous shot, but it looks like it's going to be uh, uh, broken up. So I might use that opportunity to move the camera around too, so you can see different shots if I have to. If I'm gonna have to piece it together anyway. So back to it. So I decided to take a break at the half hour mark. Uh, I wasted about uh, 15 minutes, a little more than 15 minutes, uh, trying to figure out my camera storage issues. Uh, it looks like I'm running out of space pretty quickly. Hi everyone, uh, a little later in the day, uh, like I mentioned back in the shop, I had issues with my camera, so I had to come back and free up some space, and uh, now I'm gonna go through the results and see what we were, be able, see what we were able to do today. Um, uh, I ended up working uh, for a full hour, uh, minus the time that I spent moving the camera around and um, uh, trying to free up space. So I think I ended up eating up about 15 minutes of my time, maybe a little bit more. So here's the final, uh, final count. So I was able to get 40 done. Each one is 2 inches long, square shank, and then a uh, uh, rose head style top to them. So the two that I'm not uh, going to count, uh, this is one here. This one I didn't have quite enough meat on the top for, uh, for a good head. So this one's out. So this brings my total down to 39. 
And then there's one more in here, which I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Ah, oh, here it is. This one here. This head is a little bit too big. I think that that looks uh, that looks a little a uh, little bit too much meat. So this one I'm also going to set aside. So my final total is going to be 38 good nails. Uh, I made 40 initially, but I think those two that I showed you that didn't quite make the cut. Uh, so I'll be donating $38 to the uh, Southern Animal Foundation. Uh, when I first posted this on Instagram, I had a couple other uh, Smiths uh, say that they'd be interested in participating. So uh, uh, if you're out there listening, Holiday Forge, uh, Caffeine's Forge, uh, which is a, a smith up in my old hometown of Pittsburgh, and uh, Doc Peepaw Blacksmithing is a veteran knife maker. Uh, so I hope uh, you three will, uh, will make a nail header, or if you already have one, uh, get out in the forge and uh, see how many nails you can make. Uh, I think we're going to keep the, the nonprofits, whatever you trust and whatever you think is, uh, you know, local and uh, a good, good uh, nonprofit. And of course, if we have enough people to get interested, maybe we can get some of the, the big name players, the, you know, the uh, Chandler Dickinson and uh, Black Bear Forge. And so that does it for this video. I am found out that I'm certainly not a uh, YouTube type definitely need some better equipment and, and uh, some more rehearsed uh, dialogue, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more, let me know, and uh, I, look forward in, I look forward to seeing who, who, uh, who comes out on top here, who can raise the most money. Uh, 38, 40 nails I know is going to be beat uh, really quickly, and uh, I'm curious to see how, how many someone can actually make in an hour. I know that we can get up to 100, 120 in an hour probably pretty soon, so uh, I look forward to seeing that video. So, uh, any comments or questions, feel free to post them below, and uh, you never know, maybe I'll see you again sometime.